Hi folks, welcome back to my channel and day 22 of the 2018 Inktober Art Challenge. And can you believe there are now less than 10 days to go to the end of the challenge? I'm super happy to have made it this far and a huge well done to everyone else out there who's still going strong. Keep it up, we're nearly there. So today's prompt is the word expensive. So I did a quick bit of research into the most expensive animals as I'm doing an animal themed Inktober and came up with the palm cockatoo. Now this cockatoo is not the most expensive animal out there, but it will set you back a whopping 16,000 US dollars owing to the fact that they are hard to breed and are now an endangered species. And in my book, that's pretty darned expensive. So with a reference picture sorted, I set about picking out my supplies for this painting and chose to use my Ecoline inks since I wanted to use my indigo and violet inks to get the beautiful color of the cockatoo feathers. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon as well so you don't miss out on future videos. So after a bit of thought, I decided to use a small flat paintbrush to apply my ink initially today as I wanted to find a quick technique for painting in feathers. So I began with adding a small amount of ink to my brush, keeping it fairly dry and applied this to dry paper almost in a stippling motion. Working down towards the bird, I tapped in the general shape and direction of the feathers, holding my brush vertically, just using the tip, and I found this gave quite a nice, easy and quick way to give the look and texture of his feathery chest. So moving on to his head and back to a round paintbrush and the wet on wet technique to apply a rich, concentrated mixture of the indigo and violet inks. I also used a very small round paintbrush to pull out some smaller feathers whilst it was still wet. I also used this same small paintbrush to add detail on his beak and around his eye. For the darker area on his beak, I did wait for the underneath layers to dry first and the same for the darker feathers on the top of his head. Then it was time to move on to the wings and again I wanted to keep it quite loose here but wanted to make sure I was bold enough to add enough contrast and depth for this cockatoo to really stand out. So I marked in the main shape before turning my attention back to the bird's chest and at this point I couldn't really decide how I was going to play it as the area just inside the wings is extremely dark but I didn't want to lose the texture I put in with my flat paintbrush in the beginning. So I did a bit more to his wings and painted around the chest area for a bit while I decided what to do. At this point though, I was quite happy with how it was turning out, but I didn't want to spoil it, so I spent a bit of time adding some darker values around the head and on the inside of the wings, just to add some more contrast and give me a bit of thinking time. So after quite a bit of thinking, I remembered my little fan brush and despite being a bit on the wide side for this cockatoo's feathers, was the right shape I thought for the job of adding a bit more loose detail to that chest area. So I went in bold and tapped in some darker values of the same violet indigo ink mix and luckily it worked out okay. Again, I applied the ink using a fairly dry brush onto dry paper so as not to lose the texture I'd already put in rather to build up more texture and depth to give the impression of feathers as opposed to a photorealistic copy. And as much as I tend to try and recreate more realistic paintings of my animals, I really like this easy, loose, more impressionist style. It just feels a bit more grown up and I was glad I had the confidence to call it finished when I had done without rendering each and every detail perfectly.
So now I'm just going in with some darker colours just to pull out those contrasted areas, brighten up the sort of the red feathers by his eye and make sure the eye looked nice and shiny. I didn't want to add a lot of detail to the wings, although there were individual feathers visible on the reference picture. I just wanted to give more of an impressionist style of how the feathers laid and where they were. And I did really, really enjoy doing this painting. It just felt so much more relaxed and it was just really enjoyable. I did add some splatters just to give it a bit of something in the background. And as much as I said I didn't add too much detail, I did go in with some white gel pen just to add a few of the feathers around the cockatoo's face. But I wasn't tempted to go in and fill these in all over the rest of the body as I might have done before. So I think, albeit gradually, Inktober is having a beneficial effect on my confidence, at least for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and this painting. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on more daily videos throughout October. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.